Any Woman is a poem by Catherine Tynan glorifying womanhood. It is a deeply touching poem that celebrates the self-effacing love of mothers. Catherine Tynan was born on January 23, 1859 and died on April 2, 1931. She was an Irish writer known mainly for her novels and poetry. Her vast body of work explored issues of feminism, her Catholic faith, Irish nationalism, and the First World War. She wrote extensively about the domestic role of women and its importance. Catherine's first poem, A Dream, was published in 1878. By 1931, she wrote over 100 novels, more than a dozen books of poetry, 12 collections of short stories, several volumes of autobiography and a variety of newspaper articles. Role of woman in families She manages the family, works as chef, housekeeper, does the laundry, sometimes the driver. She looks after the children, resolves conflicts. She is an event planner, a counselor, a guide, a mentor. She does all the household duties. She is a teacher. She is the finance manager. She prepares food, washes and irons clothes, educate children, cleans the house and keeps it tidy make the bed, does the shopping. When anyone is sick she takes care of them. She pants vegetables in the garden. She scolds the children and punishes them when necessary. Any woman. I am the pillars of the house. The keystone of the arch am I. Take me away, and roof and wall. Would fall to ruin me utterly. I am the fire upon the hearth. I am the light of the good sun. I am the heat that warms the earth. Which else were colder than a stone. At me the children warm their hands. I am their light of love alive. Without me cold the hearthstone stands. Nor could the precious children thrive. I am the twist that holds together. The children in its sacred ring. They're not of love, from whose close tether. No lost child goes a wandering. I am the house from floor to roof. I deck the walls, the board I spread. I spin the curtains, warp and woof. And shake the down to be their bed. I am their wall against all danger. Their door against the wind and snow. Thou whom a woman laid in a manger. Take me not till the children grow. Analysis The poem speaks about the role of a mother in the family. The sentiments of a mother expressed here about her part in a family, are true in every place and time. The poet glorifies the importance of a mother in a family. She is the keystone of the house, the arch, the pillars that make up the house. She is the hearth that gives it warmth. She is the walls that protect the members of the family. If something happens to her the whole family will be ruined. Children live because of the warmth of mother's love. She walls all dangers and protects her family from wind and snow which stands for external forces trying to harm the family. Nowadays the presence of a mother in a family is rarely noticed. She is considered only as a machine who never gets tired of anything. She is neglected and confined within the four walls her house. This poem demands all readers to open their eyes to be considerate towards a woman's inner feelings and to regard her as an individual. This poem Any Woman presents the all-embracing power of a woman to hold her family together. In the last part of the poem the mother makes her humble wish to live long enough to see her children grow. She is selfless enough to think of her young ones. The mother figure in the poem and her private emotions are presented through a lot many metaphorical images such as pillars, keystone, fire on the hearth, light, etc.
except for the first stanza the rhyme scheme in the poem is to be identified to be a b, a b, c d, c d. The poem opens by introducing the central metaphor of the house. The mother says that she is the pillars of the house. She is the keystone of the arch without which the roof and wall would fall and the house would be ruined. A mother is not only the foundation of the household, she is the vita lux et amor, the life, light, and love that fill a house. Like the sun which warms the earth, she is the fire upon the hearth. The children warm their hands at her. Without her the house would be cold and lifeless and the children would not thrive. The mother is also like a twist or a knot in the ring that holds the different strands together. She holds the children together in the sacred ring of love. Without the knot of love many a child could go a wandering and get lost. Finally, the poet describes the countless chores a mother performs every day in the house which may make her children wonder whether she has a thousand hands. She decorates the house, gets the table ready for dinner, spins the curtains, and makes their bed. Here she is also compared to a mother bird who builds the nest, feeds the nestlings and makes their bed with her own soft feathers. She walls out the wind and snow and protects them from all danger. The poem ends with the mother's prayer to Jesus to keep her alive till the children grow. Figures of Speeches The dominant figure of speech is metaphor. In metaphor we say something is the same as another. Any woman compares herself to the pillars of the house, the wall, the fire upon the hearth, the keystone of the arch that hold it together. She is the house from floor to roof. She is the warmth of the good sun. She is the knot of love that holds the family together. She is the sacred ring that guarantees safety and security. She is the heat that warms the earth.